Students in the VetPAC internship get uh, here at the museum a great experience working with exotic animals and exotic species that we have here at the museum and interacting with the public. We have a workspace where basically our clinic is on public view and we have uh, cameras and microphones, kind of like a cooking show where we work with animals and, and talk to people that uh, come to the window. So I just remember at orientation they kind of mentioned that um, VetPAC is pre-veterinary advising center and it's pretty unique to NC State uh, created by Dr. Trevetti and like I said not a lot of colleges have it so it's really um, unique and nice opportunity for us to take advantage of the students. The Museum Medicine internship is a great opportunity for students both professionally and personally to learn, to, to speak to people, to speak to the public or to our visitors here at the museum, and to learn about medicine in a comfortable environment. So my direct responsibilities as an intern include general paperwork and assisting in the lab and uh, the window on animal health. So some of the benefits of becoming a museum medicine intern as a pre-vet was getting a look at some of the alternative paths in the veterinary field. My goals for the future are to um, work in the wildlife, exotic, aquatic, and zoological medicine field, um, especially like working with fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Um, so it aligned perfectly with those goals. And I got to know Dr. Dombrowski who um, is also a great resource, great source of advice, and I got to begin working on an independent research project with him through the museum medicine internship. And then I was able to create a poster based on the findings that I'd found and organized all that information and made a poster to present at the undergraduate research symposium. So before this internship, I had mainly just had small animal, a little bit of large animal experience. This was way different than all of that. It's very cool to see growth in our students and our interns from the time that they start the internship to the time that they finish the internship. And then we've had about 50 uh, interns uh, through our program over the last eight years. And about 40 of those interns of the 50 have applied to, to go to school, either locally to a vet school or, or schools around the country. Uh, and about 35 or 36 of those either are already graduated and practicing veterinarians or are in the process of getting their degree. Even if you're not interested in exotic or zoo medicine, I still think it's a great way to get some really good experience, kind of see another aspect of vet medicine, especially with the public interaction part. The experience and the connections helped me get a job at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom and then meet a whole bunch of people over at NC State's vet school. So I would definitely recommend this internship to any student that is thinking about it because it's a great way to show you a kind of a different side of veterinary medicine and something that someone who may not know that they're interested in the veterinary medicine career path um, would definitely potentially be interested in this. I think I always knew I wanted to be a veterinarian, but I always assumed that being a veterinarian was one thing. And I think the um, vet pack internships are a great way to learn that there are plenty of different career paths within veterinary medicine and especially getting to do the museum medicine internship, I never even knew a job like that existed. So getting to do that got me um, really passionate about research and getting involved in other areas. The VetPAC internship at the Museum of Natural Sciences is one of the most beneficial opportunities I've ever had to add to my pre-vet resume. I'd say that just the fact that you get hands-on experience with animal education as well as husbandry and veterinary experience is an experience like you won't get anywhere else.